Hey, it's Jack Eatley from Jack Eatley Real Estate and the Online Real Estate Academy. So I get this question all the time. How do I start in this business? Well, first, of course, you have to get your license and that's another topic altogether. We got a lot of videos on that. But how do I get started and be successful? Because real estate class teaches you how to be ethical and knowledgeable. That's different from being successful. Successful is another thing altogether. So let's talk about being successful. How do I be successful? And I think right off the bat, you have to think about this as a lead generating business, customer acquisition, it's sometimes called. How do you acquire customers? And this is a problem for all sorts of businesses, whether you're installing car stereos or you know whatever type of business you're in, you have to obtain customers. Now, for real estate agents, that basically means you have two basic strategies. Number one, you can advertise. And there's probably no limit to the number of advertising opportunities out there. You could buy a billboard, a TV ad. Uh, you could buy those signs that are in the grocery cart uh, thing. You know, when you put your milk in the cart, there's some real estate agent shining, looking up uh, from the grocery cart at you. You can advertise on Zillow. There's, there's all sorts of plays to spend your money. Now, the problem is when you're just starting out, you might not have the money to do that, right? There, there could be a, right, that's maybe why you're starting this business. And I think also you really should think about being a, as a salesperson, real estate salesperson or a broker, it's like being in business. That's the best, it's not a job, it's a business. That's the best way to think about it. But you might not have enough capital when you first start off. So what's the other thing you can do? Number two, you can hustle. Right? Number two, you can hustle. And there's basically two ways that you can hustle. Maybe, well, there's probably, we're going to talk about two in this, but there's probably a lot of different ways. But, you know, this is all about customer acquisition and getting people's attention, right? You can either buy their attention or you can somehow hustle their attention. Now, number one way you can hustle attention in this modern world, which is fit, you can get a TikTok account, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, YouTube, and you can create helpful and informative content. In fact, this video, full disclosure, is actually an attempt to share my knowledge with you. And if I give away the best knowledge I have, then I think that might lead you to Sign up for my real estate class, salesperson class, broker class, continuing education, and or join my agency, hint, hint. So by providing everything I know, basically for free, I'm hoping to attract clients, inbound marketing, right? Now, uh, you might wanna go down that road in creating helpful content. I think that's a really good idea. There are plenty of people on TikTok, all the platforms, that are providing helpful content and they're going from like zero to a million from here, you know, right, right, because of the explosive uh, opportunity that's available in various social media platforms. Now, <clears throat> which I'm strongly recommend, <clears throat> excuse me, which I'm strongly recommending. Uh, you gotta go find the right platform. That's another video for, for a different day. The other way that you can hustle that we're going to address in this video, because there's actually quite a few now that I'm starting to think about it. But the other way that we're going to address in this video is your list. You are your list. When I used to work in politics, we had this joke, you are the list. If you're running for office, your list is life. The list is life. And... This is something I think you can start to do before you even get your license. When you do get your license, you might join an agency and they also might encourage you to do this exact same thing. But let me pause here for a word of warning relative to um, entering your list into the database software that's provided by the agency. Uh, so most of your big agencies have what they call a CRM and it's a way for agents to manage all of their leads and all of their potential leads 
And a lot of agents use the company provided CRM to enter in all of the contacts from their list. Uh, whether they're high school buddies, whatever, neighbors, you know, the whole thing. Um, when you do that and you enter all of your names, all of your sphere of influence names into the, and I don't want to pick on any particular agency, so I don't want to name it. Any, let's just say Keller Williams. If you enter in your list to the Keller Williams CRM, uh, who now owns your list? You do, sort of, but it's on their software. And when you leave the Keller Williams that you're at, do you think that they're going to just delete your list from their database? No, they're not. They're basically going to work your list because they know that has massive value. So if you want to be in charge of your destiny, you will not create a list on a company CRM. The list is yours. You are the list. If you give it to somebody else, it is no longer yours and you no longer control your destiny. So Jack, uh, what do I do? Fortunately, there's a fairly easy solution. Let's share my screen. So you want to get yourself a free Google account and go to Google Drive. Again, also free. And you just go up to create a new document, select Google Sheets, launch that, and now you have a blank spreadsheet, which is completely and absolutely free. You then put in some field names at the top of the page. And before you know it, you've basically started your own CRM. Let's see if I can blow this up a little bit larger so that you can see it. Okay, so here we have Sally. We put her name in, Sally Smith. We put her street address in, her email. Is she one of my Facebook friends? That may or may not be important to you. It's important to me. We have Sally's fictional phone number. Uh, then we have this category. It's really important for me. You see, I think you should make, if you have a significant other or other family members or friends that can help you with this list, ooh, that is a big, big help. So in my case, it's my wife. My wife, like, knows everyone. She's, uh, like, she's super popular. She's She knows everyone. She knows how everyone's connected and who's cousins with that. And uh, she knows that. She knows, she's just really gifted that. But not my thing. But, but it's Beth's thing. So how do I know this person? Because, like, uh, yeah, that's just not my gift. So I'm going to write here, Beth's friend. And then Beth probably is going to know what they want. In this case here, we fictionally made this up. Wants to buy a three bedroom in North Andover, expecting a new baby in September. Wow, that's like a life change. Uh, downsizing, upsizing, you know, uh, getting divorced. You know, all those things are when a lot of times you buy and sell real estate and you want to make a note of that so that next time you talk to Sally, you know what's going on. And you also might have a category called contact history so that you know, like, when's the last time you reached out to her. You can make up a wide range of columns here to collect data on your clients. The point is, basically, you're making a CRM for free, which you yourself completely own and control. There's probably other databases or even free, more sophisticated CRMs this is the one I use. I just, you know, this is probably not the most sophisticated tool, but you get the strategy. Uh, you also might like to do other things, like you might have a column for, uh, like, preferred, how do these people like to be contacted? Maybe they, you know, preferred method. Uh, let's just say Sally prefers email. So I'm, so I'm not going to call, Sa if, if I have email here, I'm not going to call her. I'm going to email her because that's what she prefers. So you want to collect all this data as best you can. You probably won't have something for each and every column for each and every person 
you might not have a street address for somebody. You might know they live in uh, Belmont, but you might not have the full, you don't need it for everybody. If uh, you do have their phone number and they prefer text, then that's the most important thing. So, you know, just go with what you can collect. It's not going to be perfect. What you do really need to perfect is the follow-up and outreach to this list. Whether, again, it's by email, phone, direct mail, what, whatever it is. And you have to ask these people that are your basically your base supporters, right? And this list could be 20 people or 197, you know, whatever number is on the list. Start with what you've got. And you've got to perfect the, quest, the following question. Let's borrow it from uh, Keller Williams since, you know, well, yeah. So at Keller Williams or a lot of other agencies all over the country, no one really owns this phrase, but you've got to perfect this question. Here it is. <clears throat> Might want to write this down. Uh, when you call up Sally or email her or whatever, you might want to say, Sally, uh, who do you know that's buying or selling in the next 30 to 90 days? Can you help me with my business? So you're not actually directly asking Sally if she's buying or selling, although that wouldn't hurt. But what you really do is trying to leverage your relationship with Sally in the nicest way possible uh, to ask her if she knows somebody else that's buying or selling. Get well, See the power in that? Right, exactly. So if she's expecting a baby in September, there's a pretty good chance that you're going to get her business because she already knows, likes, and trusts you. But wouldn't it even be better... If she recommended you to somebody, maybe she, there's a pretty good chance that she knows somebody else is having a baby fairly soon. And she might say, oh yeah, Jack, um, I, I'm looking to buy, you know, because we're expecting, we're going to need another bedroom. But also, uh, Lori, my friend, Lori, she's also having a baby this year. And she was just telling me about, we were at the beach. And she was just telling me about how she needs to upgrade and get a bigger house. Can, could you call her and help her out? Sally, I'd be glad to call Lori and help her out with her real estate needs. Thank you so much for helping me grow my biz. You see how it works? Who do you know, Sally, that's going to be buying or selling in the next 30 to 90 days? That is the money question. And if you systematically, with Google Sheets or whatever tool you want to use, Maybe not the agency's provided tool, but with every tool, ask that question of your base and you can grow your business. Okay, so you got that idea. Now, I want to leave you with one other thought because this video is getting long, but here's the thought. You get a couple of transactions from your list, from your base of support, so to speak. Now, if you're frugal enough, uh, you then can take some of that profit, so to speak, and pour it into, this is something you might want to consider, instead of splurging on something, you can pour it into, you can reinvest it in your business, and maybe then you can afford to do Zillow or buy the billboard or, or advertise, because now you're taking some of the profits that you made from your pure hustle and now you now you're at see now you got both methods working now nah, yeah thumbs up to that right exactly so something to think about you might say oh jack i need a car okay uh and real estate agents need a fancy car uh that's actually not true but instead of buying the you know maserati you might just go with the honda civic and then instead take that savings and invest it in advertising so something, you want to have a respectable little car, a, a respectable car. You don't need a fancy Mercedes, all right? Just get that thought out of your head. Uh, you just need something dependable and respectable. A Honda Civic, whatever. Camry, whatever. You don't need, you get the point. So something to do would be to reinvest those dollars into your career, maybe as advertising. All right, so I'm Jack Gately from Jack Gately Real Estate and the Online Real Estate Academy. Have a great day.